It's happening. I can't believe we're actually filming this video already. You know, we just got the GTR this month in May. Today's May 31st, and as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, we are getting new shoes for the GTR already. <laughs> so we got the car in one month, and we're also getting new shoes, new wheels for the car in the same month. Talk about moving fast, but this deal was super local. I couldn't pass up on it. It is similar to my HREs on the F80. It was a local deal. I'm gonna add some cash on top, but I think it's a really good deal for what it is. These are a dream wheel for any GTR owner. There is a little caveat with them, which I'll show you guys when the seller comes here. He's actually on the way to my house right now and he's actually gonna help me swap over the wheels on my GTR and yeah I can't wait to show you guys it is Christmas in May I can't believe we're actually making this happen let me know what you guys think about the new shoes as always make sure you guys drop a like comment down below subscribe follow me on Instagram and now let's get into this video Aston what do you think about what we're doing in today's video anything anything Kona what do you think about dad getting new shoes today for the GTR, anything? Anything? Tough crowd, tough crowd. But <laughs> we are in the garage right now waiting for the seller. He's actually local to the Central Florida region. He's actually on the way over here now with the wheels that we're swapping these stock ones for. And then obviously I just said I'm gonna add some cash on top, but they are not BBS or HREs, so I'll give that away real quick. But to me, it is worth it because these wheels are super hard to find. They're very expensive if you buy them new. And I haven't been able to find them used in Florida at least. I've seen them you know, for sale up in like New York, California, you know, outside of Florida where shipping would be required and I don't really want to pay for shipping for four wheels because that would get pricey of course so when I saw this pop up only an hour away from me I had to jump on it it's funny because I told my wife we're gonna you know take it easy on the mods on the GTR but hey when a deal comes up you know similar to the HREs on the F80 you can't pass it up and that's you know my explanation to myself but besides the wheels for those of you guys that don't know this car is already full bolt-on and has a tune on it already it's pushing around like 600 horsepower or so it even has an aftermarket white pipe I think the car sounds good and it feels good already when it comes to power I'm just a big aesthetic guy as you guys probably know from my f80 build so I need the car to look right sit right I do want a front lip eventually one day I do want to get one that wraps around the front bumper a little more in the future but right now the car looks amazing the only thing I really have been looking for you know even before I got my car was actually wheels for the GTR because everybody knows replacing the shoes or replacing the wheels on any car is a complete game changer it completely transforms the look of the car and stock wheels nobody likes stock wheels you know what I mean <laughs> but I can't believe we're making it happen I can't wait to show you guys it's super exciting of course and this is just you know one of the big three changes that I had in mind uh, to do this year and we're already crossing one off the list. The only other two mods that I want to do this year is the front lip that I just talked about and we are actually in contact right now with a few exhaust companies for the GTR so can't wait to see where that leads. Probably gonna pull the trigger you know by the end of summer and make some amazing you know exhaust content for those companies so stay tuned for that. There is one little caveat with these wheels which you guys will see when we put them on the car but that will also be changing in this video probably but I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the F80 lugs and the GTR wheels. As you guys can see right there it basically is like a stud conversion kit already this is like a 21 millimeter nut that you just have to tighten on to the stud itself so I thought that was pretty interesting how different it is from the F80 a few moments later yo <laughs> there's no way so shout out to the homie new he actually just helped me put on the wheels and appreciate him making a deal with me and making things happen today I cannot believe we just got these wheels for the GTR and I think it's time to reveal it to you guys. We got Advan GTs for the GTR. There's no way. I'm so hyped. These are one of the three wheels that I really wanted for the GTR and I can't believe we found some locally, let alone they're on my car right now. So let's go ahead, stop teasing you guys and show you what we got. All right, you guys ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> yes, they are red. No, we're not gonna leave them red, but they are Advan GT Premiums sitting on our triple eight r's and i think this finish is like a candy red as you guys can see right there again we're not leaving it red don't worry red is not my thing even though these do match the interior red wheels are just not for me but i did pull the car out very briefly and the red on red does kind of look cool i was actually gonna drop the car off at wolf's end today but we're running out of time so i'm gonna do it next week and we're gonna get them refinished in a gloss black which will probably be in the same video as well but check it out we got Avan GT Premiums 
on the freaking GTR. I cannot believe we got these. I was talking to S58 Danny and he actually loves the idea of red on white. But again, it's not really my thing. It's super JDM, of course, but again, I think black is definitely more my style. Definitely like that Panda spec that I've always wanted. But we cannot forget to talk about these giant tires on the car. The Toyota R888Rs. We have a 325 in the rear. A 325 <laughs> R888R in the rear. I'm pretty sure this wheel can also fit a 335 or 345. That's what a couple of my new GTR friends have told me. But this is a 325 to be exact. This thing is so fat. It doesn't come through on camera, but when you see it in person, it is such a meaty, meaty tire. And it just complements the Avans so, so well. And then up front, we actually are rocking a 285 R888R on the front. The stock wheels that we just swapped out had a 285 in the rear, and now we have a 285 in the front. That's actually insane. I've actually never run our triple eights before. I've obviously heard they're a little louder. We might switch these back to Michelin's just for daily driving around Florida with all the rain and whatnot, but dude, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Again, before you guys say anything, picture them in black. Conan, what do you think? Did dad snap or what? <laughs> but again, red wheels just stand out and that's not really my style. I, I like the more clean, subtle look, black on white or murdered out like my F80, but yo, <laughs> we got, dream wheels in the same month as the dream car it doesn't get much better than this super blessed of course that i found a deal like this and it was pretty similar to my hres as i mentioned in the beginning of the video we got a really good deal by trading my stock wheels and then i added some cash on top but i think it is a hundred percent worth it after we get them refinished of course and yeah i can't believe we're sitting on fat r triple eight r's with Advan GTs. Let's fucking go. Show you guys the other side really quickly. Dude, they look so good. Again, look past the red. <laughs> Just the styling is so, so sick. A nice five spoke design, very JDM of course. It was either this, uh, TE37s, which is more of a six spoke design that everybody runs. And then I was also looking at OEM Nismo wheels that come on the track edition and the R35 Nismos, and those come in a gloss black finish as well. All right, really quickly, we pulled the GTR out. We're gonna go for a quick drive around my neighborhood. And I just wanna see if these R888Rs are actually as loud as people say they are, or if it's really not that bad. But yeah, a quick little cruise. And then the next clip you guys will probably see is us going to Wolves Den to drop off the car. Right away, you can definitely feel the tire connected to the road more. And you guys can probably hear it. They're pretty loud. And you can definitely feel a little bit more vibrations in the car itself while you're driving. Yeah, it definitely makes its own noise, that's for sure. But again, I might actually get a set of Michelins just to swap out, just for daily driving, and to probably keep my wife happy <laughs> if these get too loud, um, and then just have the R888s as a spare if we ever go to the track or anything like that. Because if I'm driving by myself, I really don't mind. It's more so if I have the dogs or the wife in the car. But honestly, it sounds like you're in like an electric car. It has that little like electric hum to it. It's not like unbearable, but we'll see when we get on the main road. The next day. Quick little visit. <laughs> See, bro, what up? Holy shit, bro. bro! So I just got them on Friday, bro. They're not gonna stay red though, Chris. They're not gonna stay red. Danny wants me to stay red. Dude, no, I bad didn't look sick. Sick. <laughs> what up, guys? Thanks for taking over the vlog. You guys probably already saw. Ready? Took over the PSI vlog. Dude. That boy, Chris Marina. Like Sunset. It. All right, all right. Let's see it. Let's see it with the daylight. I've only seen it once outside my garage. You like it? With the sun hitting it right now. It's 
normal Advan GTs. Right. This was a sticker, like TEs. But oh, now you see this right now, it's laser engraved. Yeah, it's fire. Literally GTR spec. Oh, <laughs> On the R triple so fat. But uh, in this in this video, Chris, we're dropping it off at, at Wolves Den tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna get him gloss black. Danny really wants me to keep him red, but I don't know, man. I'm just not a red wheel guy, bro. I don't know. No, it does look cool with the interior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Danny's like, Danny is fake. But we're going to be dropping the car off tomorrow. So next time you guys see it, it'll be gloss black. Even though the red does does go hard in the daylight. It's cool. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. I like it with the red interior. But it's all good. Black's going to slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, everybody in their apartments. <laughs> so what's that? Don't look the guys up there, look, man, man. It's a GTR. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was great. All right, it is the next morning. We just dropped the GTR off here at Wolves Den Customs in Orlando. They do, again, a bunch of modification stuff for your cars, trucks, supercars. They do mostly wraps and PPF jobs, but they also do some custom work now, like suspension, wheels. So we are here dropping the car off because Jim, the owner, is gonna take care of me like he always does. And we are gonna get these Advan GT premiums from red to a gloss black finish, which you guys will see in the same video, of course. Take one last look <laughs> at the GTR with red wheels, red Advan GTs to be specific. Again, <laughs> Chris and Danny really liked it yesterday, but it's just not my thing, guys. So comment down below. Should I have left them red? I think gloss black is just going to look so clean and it's just more my style. But again, if you guys need anything done to your car, truck, wrap, PPF, make sure you guys hit up Wolves Den Customs here in Orlando. They did an amazing job on my F80 and I'm super happy to work with them again. But I can't wait to get the GTR back. It looks absolutely incredible. 20 by 10 in the front, 20 by 12 in the rear. No spacers needed. The fitment is so flush to the fender. It's perfect. It's gonna look so good and it's gonna keep me happy for a little while until we probably order a new exhaust. The front lip I want is pretty pricey, so <laughs> we'll probably hold off on that for a little bit. But when we get the car back and the wheels are gloss black, we can finally take it to car shows, show everybody the new whip. I haven't been able to go to all the local meets and cars and coffees and whatnot because I've been out of town and super busy in the month of May. But I can't wait to show everybody and get everybody's reaction finally with the new setup. Two weeks later. What's going on YouTube? We just got here to Wolves End. It has been two weeks since the last clip that you guys saw. As you guys can see, in Florida, it basically rains every afternoon in the summertime. So it is literally pouring right now. But just to show you guys some of the dope whips they have here at Wolves End Customs. So they have their Shop McLaren. I think this is like a 600 LT. Maybach GT3 RS for sale. GT Lusso. We have Jim's Aventador up there, super badass. We got the Rolls Royce. Again, they do a bunch of customization here. Wraps, tint, PPF. They also work on wheels, tires, as you guys know. They do a lot of trucks, like Escalades, Jeeps, Broncos over there. And yeah, you guys see everything. We got Mopar cars, Mustangs. And yeah, they have the white room over there, which is where they do all the wraps, tint, PPF. But yeah, they have a whole tire section now with lifts. And this is where my GTR has actually been sitting for the last two weeks. I ended up purchasing some Michelin 4S's from the same seller who sold me the Advans. And we got some 285's for the front and 345's for the rear. Forgot to show you guys the Wolves Den shop truck right here. And we have a murdered out Audi SQ8. This thing is sick. And then I could not leave without showing you guys the freaking Carrera GT. I think they just did a matte PPF on it. It is literally raining right now, but this car is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my dream cars, you know, playing video games when I grew up. And Jim, the owner of Wolves Den, just told me that this car is worth like 1.6, 1.7 million, which is absolutely insane. And that just tells you about the type of clientele and cars that they do here at Wolves Den. But I just got here, shout out to Wifey for taking me. And they actually pulled the GTR over there under the wash bay because it is raining. So I'm gonna get my raw reaction with you guys right now. <laughs> I see the car. Damn, the wheels look so good. Damn, bro. That, that's tough. So as you guys know, I got the wheels redone in gloss black. No way. That's my car. <laughs> Let's go. No way. They turned out so sick. Advan GT premiums in a gloss black. Let me show you guys how they look up close in person. They look absolutely amazing. 
exactly what I wanted. We have the Advan GT the logo right there. It looks so good on the white. Again, I've always wanted a Panda spec car and this is gonna be my first one. Damn. You really can't go wrong with black wheels and dude, these look so good. Again, the Advan GTs are a five spoke design. The TEs are a six spoke. It's gonna be so easy to clean versus the stock GTR wheels versus you know any of my BMW wheels that I had. Literally, this is gonna make cleaning a breeze. We actually left the Advan Racing in silver and we also left the Forge Japan made in silver as well, which I think is a nice touch. It adds some contrast. I am so, so happy. It's unfortunate this rain is limiting me to uh, get some shots under here. But once it stops, we'll get some more B-roll for you guys. But let me know what you guys think. The Panda spec goes so hard. I'm absolutely thrilled and happy with how they turned out. Cannot wait to get some content with the car this weekend. And don't forget, although we have a Panda spec, we also have red interior, which is gonna contrast super nice. This is literally a dream come true. Red interior on you know a white car with black wheels. It doesn't get much better than this, guys. I'm so thrilled right now. Man, I haven't seen this car in two weeks, and any car person knows two weeks is two weeks too long. I mean, even two days is too long, you know what I mean? But I'm so happy to be back with this car. It literally feels like I'm getting a new car again with the new wheels. You know, two weeks away, I can't wait to drive it again. Can't wait to hear the exhaust. <laughs> Let's go. The car looks so, so good. Look at that angle. Damn. <laughs> that looks so fucking good. I think I did mention in this video that I wanted to get some Michelins because literally the Florida rain happens every day here in the summertime. So I want to be as safe as possible. And I don't think our triple eights are the best for that, of course, as you guys know. So I actually ended up talking to the seller of the Advan GTs and he had some Michelin 4S's in his garage and we worked out another amazing deal for them so I couldn't pass up on them. So we actually have 285 3520s in the front Michelin 4S's and then we also got some 345 4S's in the rear. These are actually sitting on the Toyos right now until my 4S's come in on Monday or Tuesday next week so we'll be back here to throw those on. So right now we actually have the R888 that you guys saw earlier in this video on the car now, which is ironic because it just rained and I guess we're gonna test it out in the rain, see how it is. But yeah, we have a 345 30 20 tire coming in for the rear, which is literally the fattest tire I have ever seen, which as you guys know, a 285 size tire is no small tire. And now those are in the front. I literally had 285 rears on my M3. <laughs> and now we're gonna have 345s in the rear. It's just insane to even say. It's literally the fattest tire I've ever seen. And the most important thing about that spec is we're gonna be staying within the rolling diameter of the all-wheel drive system to keep it happy. Shout out to my boy on Instagram for letting me know that. Again, these are Advan GT premiums. They are GTR spec. These are 20 by 10 in the front with a 35 offset. This is a 20 by 12 with a 20 offset. Literally the most popular GTR spec that you can get. And again, this will be sitting on a 345 30 20. <laughs> again, I don't have any problem switching to the 4S's over the R888's because of the rain living in Florida. I wanna be as safe as possible. And honestly, for my own purposes, you know, of owning this car right now and the current power level that it's at, I have no problems with the grip of the 4S's, especially a 345 4S, I mean, come on. I doubt I'm gonna be losing grip unless it's wet, <laughs> you know what I mean? and a 285 in the front. I think we'll be just fine. And honestly, I think our triple eights are more catered towards the bigger power GTRs, pushing like 800 to 1000 horsepower. In that case, you know, switching to an R compound tire makes more sense. But for daily street driving, again, this car is full bolt on with like a stage one tune making around 600 horsepower. I think 4S's are more than enough and I know most of you guys will agree. But the rain finally stopped. Again, shout out to Jim and the team here at Wolf's Den. You know, if you guys need any customization for your car, truck, they do wrap, tint, PPF. They do wheel customizations. They work on trucks with lift kits and whatnot. And they work on a bunch of high-end cars like supercars, like the Carrera GT that you guys just saw. But yo, <laughs> no way. I can't wait to just drive the car again. Shout out to the team here at Wolves Inn. They absolutely killed it. These are actually the Advan GT center caps. They have a center cap that I can buy that has this in white lettering for more contrast. So maybe I'll get that down the road. But honestly, I don't mind the all gloss black look. And again, we had the whole wheel finished in a gloss black, including the barrels. And then instead of painting everything in the barrels to be gloss black, like the Advan Racing lettering 
forged, made in Japan. We actually opted to leave that silver just for some pizzazz and it really pops, I think. And again, it adds a level of contrast, which I'm super happy about. The rear angle on the R35 is literally the money shot in my opinion. Like, look at that, that's just crazy. <laughs> It looks so fat. Again, these wheels are literally GTR spec. No spacers needed. They're super flush with the fender, as you guys can see. And then in the front as well, same thing. This is it. We made it again. <laughs> dream car in one month and dream wheels one month later. Anything can happen, guys. Literally, I'm a testament to that. All right, just got some pictures of the new setup. It is pretty overcast right now, so I'll get some reels later this weekend when the weather permits, of course. But yo, we are back in the cockpit of the GTR. It feels good to be back. <laughs> I miss it so much. I miss the gauges, the cluster. I miss the exhaust noise, everything about this car. I miss driving it to the gym, to the store. You guys know how it goes. But now we're gonna drive it back home to the garage. We're gonna test out these R888s in the rain. A few moments later. It just got done raining as you guys just saw, but check out the cotton candy skies in Florida. The roads actually dried up, so that's why I have the camera out now. But we have been, you know, cruising back pretty slowly on the highway. You know, it's still a wet road at the end of the day. Tires honestly feel pretty fine. Um, it's more so, you know, when it's downpouring rain is when it would get super sketchy on these r eights. But again, we're only going to be running them this upcoming weekend. And next week, we'll be going back to Wolves Den to get the 4S's on in the rear. All right, we made it back home in the garage. It's actually the next morning and the car looks so, so good in the garage. As you guys can see, the wheels look amazing. I'm so, so happy. Let me know what you guys think about the Panaspec GTR with red interior. I can't wait to show all the homies here in Orlando, get their reaction, and yeah, just get some content for Instagram, YouTube, with the new shoes. Absolutely love these Advan GTs. If you guys also remember, we did a feature film on Bilal and his twin turbo R8, and his R8 actually had Advan GTs as well. So we're gonna be twinning. We're gonna link up with Bilal soon and definitely get some content with the R8 and the GTR with the matching wheels. Can't wait for that. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, black wheels aren't for everybody. There's a lot of black wheel haters out there, but <laughs> I'm not one of them. I think black wheels look amazing on any car. It just depends on what style you get, of course. And if you spec it out like this, you can't go wrong. Let me know if you guys agree down below, but I'm super happy with the turnout. And as I just mentioned, I can't wait to just bring it out to the local shows here in Orlando, show all of the homies and get their reactions. So more GTR content coming soon. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.